धातु ब्रह्मैव संप्रोक्तो जीव आख्यात प्रकृति सुबंतादिर्धातु नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम अव्यक्त संभव I don't know what to do to increase the volume. Uh, please increase the volume at your end. I do not know. Uh yeah, please increase your own volumes, uh, at least for the class. Because this is at uh, full setting, the microphone sensitivity. I don't think I can do anything from here now. Uh, the volume mixer, I see it is at the full sensitivity setting. Um, No. <coughs> no, I can't go more than this. It is at 30 dB and 100 percent, so I I don't think I can go anywhere beyond this. So please manage the volume levels at your end. Okay, so we finished the first chapter of Gita. <coughs> Let's start the second chapter. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> change anything. <laughs> so anyway, so Jyoti Adhyaya. So I have not uh, talked about the colophon. There is uh, at the end of the first chapter. There would be a colophon which says, Iti Shrimat Paramasa Parivraja, no, not this, sorry, Iti Shrimat Bhagavad Gita Supanishad, so Brahma Vidyayam Yoga Shastra, Shri Krishna Arjuna Samvade, Arjuna Vishadu Nama Prathama Adhyaya. So there, in fact, in some places you will see Om Tatsaditi. In some places it will, you will see Om Tatsaditi Shrimat Bhagavad Gita Supanishad. So, if Om, Om Tat Sat is there, then Om Tat and Sat, these are names of Bhagawan. Names as in, it is, Om, Omkara is the name of Bhagawan. Tat is uh, that everything that is, which is there, Tat and Sat, which is existent. So, that is, uh, which is seen, that Bhagawan who is seen as remote, but who is not really remote, he is one who is ever existent. Therefore, Tat and Sat. Sat is existent, so Om Tat Sat Iti, Iti Shrimad Bhagavad Gita Su Upanishad Su. So Shrimad Bhagavad Gita, in fact in the initially uh, when we started I didn't uh, do the, uh, I, I didn't explain Shrimad Bhagavad Gita. So Shrimad Bhagavad Gita, so, let's go back and uh, see that. So here Shrimad Bhagavad Gita, in this Shrimad and so let's say Srimad Bhagavad Gita. What is this? This is okay. So Srimad Bhagavad Gita is <coughs> you see Sri Mat Matu Pratya. So Sri Mat Sri Mat and then you see Bhagavad Gita. So Sri Mat is one word. And it's a samasa with Bhagavat and Gita. Bhagavat, then Gita. Shrimat is Matuk Pratyanta. So Shri, Shri hi asya asti iti Shri maan. So Shri, it could, see, in understanding we can say ending is Gita. So if Gita is Sri Linga, we could have made it Shri Mati. But it is not Shri Mati Gita. There is a word Bhagavan sitting here, Bhagavat. Bhagavat means Bhagavan. And Gita of Bhagavan. So if you go from uh, right to left to solve the Samasa, Bhagavad Gita, what is the connection with Bhagavad? Bhagavad means Bhagavan. Bhagavan and Gita. So Bhagavan's Gita. Actually this should have been Gitam. Gitam, it, it is a neuter word, but then for some reason it has been said as Gita. And in feminine it has been expressed. Gitam has been expressed in feminine as Gita. So thereby it can be said as a name also. That which is sung, that's the name Gita. Therefore feminine. Although Srimad Bhagavad Gita is feminine, Bhagavan is uh, masculine. Therefore, uh, Bhagavataha Gita, Shashti Tatpurusha here, Bhagavataha Gita. Uh, 
भगवत गीता एंड और भगवता उक्ता गीता ऑल्सो पॉसिबल एज इट इज भगवान सॉन्ग सॉन्ग ऑफ भगवान और इट कैन बी इट कैन बी एज संग बाय भगवान सो बोथ वेज इज पॉसिबल वी कीप इट सिंपल षष्टी तत्पुरुषा देन हु इज श्रीमत इज इट गीता गीता इज गीता एंडोर्ड विथ श्री और इट इज भगवान एंडोर्ड विथ श्री सो विल से भगवान भगवान वॉट इज भगवान अगेन भगवान इज ऑल्सो मतुपंता भग अस्य अस्ति इति भगवान एंड मतुप मकारा बिकम्स वकारा हियर बिकॉज इट इज एन भग इज अकारांता देर फोर एंड श्रीमत ऑल्सो श्रीमत हियर मतुप डज नॉट चेंज बिकॉज इट इज नॉट अकारांता इट इज नॉट मकारांता श्री इज इधर वेन देर इज एन अकारा उपधा और एन अकारा एंडिंग और देर इज अ मकारा इन उपधा और मकारा एंडिंग वर्ड देन मतुप मकारा बिकम्स वकारा हियर इट इज नन ऑफ दी फोर केसेस देर फोर श्री ही अस्य अस्ति इति श्रीमान एंड श्रीमान असो भगवान श्रीमद भगवान श्री श्रीमान श्रीमान च असो भगवान कर्मधारया एंड तस्य भगवत गीता सो गोइंग बैक टू अवर कॉलोफोन देर वॉट डज इट से इट से इति श्रीमद भगवत गीता सु भगवत गीता सु गीता सु इट इज सप्तमी बहुवचन सो लेट मी सी इफ आई कैन आई डोंट थिंक इट वॉज देर इन दी ऑन दी वेबसाइट फ्रॉम वेर आई कॉपीड सो इति श्रीमद श्रीमद भगवत भगवत गीतासु 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 इज सप्तमी बहुवचन गीता सॉरी तुम्हें मैं टाइप हूँ गीतासु उपनिषद सु उपनिषद सु सामान अधिकरण इन दी इन उपनिषद इन उपनिषद विच इज श्रीमद भगवत गीता इन भगवत गीता एंड इट इज इन प्लूरल सो ईच ऑफ दी चैप्टर इज टेकन एज each of the chapter or shloka you can take shloka but it is each of the 18 chapters which are called as upanishads themselves why are they called as upanishads upanishads they are called as upanishads because it has been narrated by bhagwan it has come from bhagwan therefore it is called as upanishad the way vedas uh, upanishad is vedanta really this is an essence of upanishads therefore also it can be called as upanishad or it has been it has come from vedas have come from bhagwan Gita has also come from Bhagwan. What has come from Bhagwan uh, at the end of the Vedas that is called as Upanishad. Similarly, here that very essence is told by Bhagwan. Therefore, it is called as Upanishad. So, it is Shrimad Bhagavad Gita su Upanishad su. Then, what kind of uh, uh, in Upanishad what is contained there? Brahma Vidya. So, Brahma Vidya Yam Yoga Shastre. श्री कृष्णार्जुन कृष्णार्जुन संवादे अर्जुन विषादो नाम नाम प्रथमोध्याय प्रथमो अध्याय so this is the colophon of the first chapter I, it is it was not there so i thought at least once i should cover it everywhere this will be uh, repeated except for the pratham adhyaya the name of the, the first or the second chapter till 18th chapter this will change ashtadash adhyaya and this name of the chapter arjuna vishadu nama so on that will change karma yoga nama uh, and so on uh, So everything else will remain same. So Shri Mad Bhagavad Gita so Upanishad. So what is there in this these Upanishads? Eighteen chapters. Brahma Vidya. Brahma Vidya is there. So Brahma Na Vidya, Brahma Vidya, Shasti Tat Purusha. But Shasti here is Karmani Shasti. Vidya of Brahman, but it is not Sambandha Shasti. It is not Brahma's Vidya. It is Brahma. Uh, this is Vidya of Brahma regarding Brahma or about Brahma. Therefore, Brahma is Karma of Vidya. 
vidya of what if you ask vidya it is vidya so it is knowledge knowledge regarding what regarding brahma therefore it is not uh, it is not brahma's apostrophe yes it is not brahma's vidya it is vidya of brahma yoga shastra uh, so yoga shastra why is it yoga shastra because there is karma yoga talked about and then jnana yoga talked about here and others may say some other yoga also but mainly there are two yogas talked about here karma yoga leading to chitta shuddhi and jnana yoga uh, karma yoga leading to chitta shuddhi and to jnana yoga and jnana yoga which results in moksha therefore yoga shastra scripture dealing with yoga yoga shastra in that shastra shri krishna arjuna samvade which is in the form of a dialogue between shri krishna and so shriman Shri krishna shri krishna shriman krishna not shriman krishna you can say shri yukta krishna madhyama pada lopa samasa because shri is lakshmi and what is the relation between lakshmi and krishna there it is uh, shri yukta he is endowed krishna who is endowed with lakshmi so shri yukta krishna shri should not be separated it's a samasa shri krishna and it is a madhyama pada lopi samasa where shri yukta krishna shri krishna and shri krishna arjuna samvadi between shri krishna and arjuna shri krishna shri krishna arjuna yoho samvada between them madhye between shri krishna and arjuna there is a samvada uh, there are various types of dialogues uh, samvada is a dialogue where uh, it is a teaching samvada is a teaching from krishna to arjuna arjuna questions and shri krishna answers samvade arjuna vishada nama prathama adhyaya so uh, arjuna vishada vishada Arj the uh, confusion of arjuna the suffering of arjuna that confusion of arjuna delusion of arjuna that is the name of the chapter nama arjuna vishada nama prathama adhyaya so first chapter called so so that was the first chapter um, then second chapter Dvitiya Adhyaya, <coughs> sorry, Dvitiya Adhyaya is what? Uh, starts by the shloka where Sanjaya is narrating again, Sanjaya Uvacha, Sanjaya Uvacha, Sanjaya Uvacha. What did Sanjaya say? He said, what did he say? Tantatha Krupaya Vishtam Ashrupurna Kulekshanam Vishidantamidam Vakyam Uvacha Madhusudanaha. So, Tam Tatha Krupaya Vishtam. Krupaya Avishtam. This word we have seen earlier. Krupaya Avishtam. Ashru Purna Kulekshram. Ashru Purna. Ashru Purna. Akule. Akula. Ekshanam. Vishidantam. Idam Vakyam. Uvacha Madhusudana. So, Tam. Tam. Tatha is an obvious Krupaya, Sri Linga Krupa, Tritiya Ekochana, Avishtam. So Tam and Avishtam are in Samana di Karanyam. Tam Avishtam, Tam Arjunam. So Avishtam is also second case. Ashru Purna Akulekshanam. This is also Arjuna. Vishidantam, Vishidantam, who is sorrowful. Idam Vakyam, Idam Vakyam. This statement, Uvacha, Uvacha, Lit Lakara, who said it? Madhusudana. So, Madhusudana, Uvacha, he said. Who said Madhusudana? Madhusudana is uh, Krishna. Madhu, we have seen this. Madhu is a uh, Madhu Nama. So, one who is called as Madhu, Madhum, Sudayati, Iti. Madhusudana, one who kills, has killed Madhu Nama Rakshasa, Madhu Rakshasa Sudayati, iti Madhusudana. <coughs> and Sanjay is saying what Tam, Tam Arjunam, Tam Arjunam Uvacha. So now Uvacha uh, can take two karmas, two karmas as in it is uh, Dvikarmaka Dhatu, Vach Dhatu is Dvikarmaka, Dvikarmaka it can two kar take two, two karmas, so you can ask, uh, to whom? To whom is a karma? To whom did he say? And what did he say? Both are karmas. Therefore, uh, it takes two karmas. What did he say? And to whom did he say? Both go in second case. So, tam here, tam, avishtam, 
अश्रुपूर्णा कुलेक्षण विशीदंतम दीज आर इन सामान अधिकरण दट इज अर्जुन एंड वॉट डिड ई से इदम वाक्यम सो इदम एंड वाक्यम आर इन ऑल्सो सेकेंड केस वॉट डिड ई से दिस स्टेटमेंट सो ही सेट दिस स्टेटमेंट विच स्टेटमेंट विच विल बी सेट लेटर he is introducing this following statement so this idam is this this what is this following statement this following state statement uvacha madhusudana uvacha tatha is in this manner one who is tam to him he said this to him to him tatha who is in this manner tatha krupaya avishtam who is overcome one who is overcome so avishtam is one who is overcome by what by krupa by compassion and uh, last time i mentioned that this is from the perspective of uh, uh, sanjaya sanjaya had a blessing in fact uh, when uh, Uh, during the war when uh, vyasamharshi had uh, asked uh, dhritarashtra whether would you like to see the war because you are sitting here at home you cannot in your palatial mansion you cannot see what is going on would you like to see i can give you that kind of a drishti divya drishti where by sitting here itself you can see what is going on in the battlefield that time dhritarashtra said that uh, since birth i have been blind i would not like to see uh, this kind of an inauspicious you know war between uh, our own people uh, and uh, all destructive war why should i see this at the end of my term really at the end of my term uh, i would like to see some something auspicious this is not something which is auspicious so i would not like to see at all but i would like to hear what is going on really so that's the reason that uh, he uh, gave the divya drishti to sanjay and sanjay was a very balanced person emotionally balanced very well balanced and he was a nice person also Uh, very trustworthy also therefore uh, uh, maharshi vyasa blessed sanjaya with that divya drishti not only that he said that he will not only be able to see as uh, it happens but he'll also be able to see what goes on in each and every person's mind so if you look at uh, the way he phrases these words uh, there is a lot of it into it because sanjaya brings out the emotion of the person also therefore when he say krupaya avishtam from his perspective arjuna is overwhelmed by compassion although others may not be able to see others may think that he uh, he is fearful or something else but sanjay can see what is going on is in mind in fact he can see what is going on in duryodhana's mind also therefore uh, the way he phrases these words in the first chapter also where he calls him raja or why he approaches actually i was saying why he approaches uh, dronacharya uh, and how he is feeding him words by saying uh, uh, instead of saying drushta drumnya he is saying uh, drupada putra why is he doing that because he has that chala and actually it is it has worked it is a good technique also you have to uh, especially to a brahmana you know uh, dronacharya was a brahmana he was not a kshatriya and he did not have anything against anyone per se the only reason he was willing to fight uh, uh, on the side of uh, duryodhana was because duryodhana had given him rajya uh, to make him a king which he wanted to become because uh, Dr- uh, drupada didn't consider him as a king at all even then he didn't consider him as a king but he has given him a rajya and therefore uh, uh, so to say duryodhana was a king uh, and a higher king rather to dronacharya he had given him some kingdom so that's the reason he had to fight because he he owed it to him and uh, 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 we'll see the other things later as to what was the size of the army and all that but kripaya avishtam he could see that duryodhana wanted to prod dronacharya had he had to bring out that anger that look at it that drupada putra and actually drupada drupada putra drushta dimna was uh, born out of a ritual uh, both draupadi as well as uh, drupada putra the draupadi is drupada putri and drushta dimna who was drupada putra both were born out of yajna and drupada was asked by uh, drupada had asked for a son uh, 
Drishtadyumna who would kill Dronacharya. He had that kind of an anger because he felt insulted when Arjuna uh, brought him as a vandhi unto, uh, uh, because Dronacharya had asked this as a Guru Dakshina. So he wanted that anger to come out and uh, to a large extent he was very successful. I was just looking up uh, all those uh, uh, listed by, Dronachar, uh, by Duryodhana in front of uh, Dronacharya, look at him, look at him. Uh, most of them were killed by Dronacharya, most of them, uh, if not all, most of them were killed by uh, Dronacharya and uh, Duryodhana was successful to bring out that anger and make him play the role of Kshatriya which was needed in the battlefield. Anyway, just as, a, uh, as an aside, uh, the uh, Sena of uh, Kauravas was, uh, uh, th there was a, uh, in the ratio of uh, 7 is to 11, there were totally 18 Akshoni Senas out of which uh, uh, seven were Pandavas and eleven Akshoni Sena belong to Kauravas. We will see that uh, in the context sometime if it comes up. So, Tam Tatha Krupaya Avishtam and looking at Dronacharya and Bhishmacharya uh, in front of whom uh, Krishna very uh, smartly took the Ratha and placed there and see look at this Kurun Pashya. These are the uh, Kurus that you are fighting your own people. So, he, he was instrumental to create that kind of compassion in his mind. And that compassion Sanjaya could see. So, Tantatha Krupaya Vishtam Ashrupurna. Ashrupurna Akula Ikshanam. Ikshanam means eyes. And it stands for Arjuna. So, what kind of Samasa would this be? Anyone? What kind of Samasa would this be? Tatpurusha or Bahuri? Bauri. So, Ikshana. So, one who has these, these kind of eyes. What kind of eyes? Akula. Akula means Vyakula. They are waiting for something. You know, he is tearful. Ashru Purna. Ashruna Purne Akule Ikshane Yasya. So, Ikshane means eyes. Two eyes. Ikshane Yasya. Uh, yasya Arjuna Sya. Saha Ashru Purna Akule Ikshana. And, and Tam, uh, in second case, Ashru Purna Akule Ikshanam. Akula is Vyakula who is waiting for some solace, you know. He is so sad that he wants someone to uh, comfort him. And this is the kind of, with those kind of eyes, he is uh, looking towards uh, Krishna. Waiting, waiting to be comforted. So, and Ashru, Ashru uh, tearful eyes, so Purna, eyes which are full. So, eyes are full, therefore, Ikshana, Akula and Purna are in Samanadi Karanyam. Purne Akule Ikshane Yasya and Kena Purna filled with what? So Ashruna, Ashruna Purna, Ashruna or you can say Ashrubhi because not with a single tear, with multiple tears, therefore plural. Ashrubhi Purne Akule Ikshane Yasya. Ashrubhi Purne Akule Ikshane uh, ix, uh, just a second, I am not sure how this declines, not a very common word for me, so, uh, <coughs> Yeah, Ikshane, because there are some, uh, I just wanted to make sure what the word is, because some places there is this, there can be a car loop in between. So, Ashrui Purne Akule Ikshane, Ikshane, Ikshane Yasya Arjunasya. Arjuna is not there in the sentence, but I am just giving a Arjunasya and Tam, Arjunasya Tam, Tam Arjunam, uh, Tam Tatha. Krupaya Avishtam Arjunam uh, Ashru Vihi uh, Ashru Purna Akulekshanam Vishidantam who is sorrowful uh, Idam Vakyam Vacha. So Anvaya would be uh, Vacha Hu Hu Vacha Madhusudana 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 ha Idam Vakyam Vacha Kam Vacha then Tam Vakyam, tam, or you can either way it can go tam, 
तम उवाच हु इज दैट तथा कृपया विष्ट कृपया विष्ट आविष्ट आविष्ट अश्रु अश्रु पूर्णाकुले क्षण क्षण तम एंड हु इज दैट विशी दंतम तम सो हु इज सॉरोफुल ऑल्सो विशी दंतम तम उवाच और यू कैन स्किप दिस इदम वाक्यम उवाच मधुसूदन तथा कृपया विष्टम अश्रुपूर्ण कुले क्षण विशी दंतम तम इदम वाक्यम उवाच I hope all words are covered. Madhusudana Uvaach is in the... Yeah. Next, so what did he say that is mentioned here? As? Okay, the rest I'll do later. Shri Bhagavan Uvaach. Shri Bhagavan Uvaach. Kutastva Kashmala Midam Vishamesam Pasthitam अनार यजुष्टम स्वर्गियम हकी इतिकर मर्जुन एंड फर्दर आल्सो विल रीड क्लाइबियम मास्मग्गम ऑफ पार्थ नहीं तत्वयु पपद्यते शुद्रम हृदय दोर भल्यम चक्तो तिष्ट पर अंतप सो दिस आर दी स्टेटमेंट्स ही मेड इदम वाक्यम सो इट इज नॉट वाक्यम मींस नॉट नेसेसरीली स्टेटमेंट इट्स अ नॉट नेसेसरीली अ सिंगल स्टेटमेंट एज एन ग्रामेटिकल स्टेटमेंट इट कैन बी मल्टीपल स्टेटमेंट्स आल्सो Uh, this idea also it can be this idea whatever that is uh, put together it is called as a statement or a vakyam shri bhagavan vacha so what did shri bhagavan say so shri bhagavan vacha he said bhagavan said what did say kutah kutastva so kutastva is what kutah twa so both sentence will look together both shlokas kutah kutah is panchamyarthit asil कुतः त्वा त्वाय स्वाम दी अल्टरनेट फॉर्म ऑफ त्वा त्वा त्वाम कश्मलम कश्मलम इदम कश्मलम जस्ट सेकेंड त्वाम कुतः स्वा कश्मलम इदम विषय सो लेट्स विल कम बैक टू दिस विषय पोषणोपस्थम अनार्य जुष्टम असरं कीर्ति करो अर्जुन it would be first case. Klaibhyam masma gama partha nitatva yupapadya chudram chapta uttishta paranta. Okay. So, this would be first case. Kashmalam. Kashmalam idam. So, I'm sorry. Idam vishame, vishame saptami ekvachana saupasthitam अनार्य जुष्टम ऑल आर इन सामान अधिकरण में हे अर्जुन सो दिस इज संबोधन हे अर्जुन कुतः त्वा त्वाम कुतः त्वा कश्मलम इदम कश्मलम त्वाम ही सेस how did this come about uh, come about to be idam this <coughs> bhavati so you have to supply bhavati or abhavat uh, where did this come about to be or right now it is there so he says kutastva kashmalam idam uh, vishame see vishame is in a this is odd you know in a odd situation right now vishame in this vishama in this odd kind of a circumstance in in this circumstance uh, where we are facing the enemy the shankanada has happened you have declared a, in fact you have also blown your conch not that you have not done it it's not that only i have blown the conch you have also blown the conch you have declared uh, bhishma pitama has declared the war kauravas have are ready you are ready you lifted your gandiva and said that uh, show me who am I supposed to fight? Kair, uh, kair maya sa yodhavyam. So, 
all that you have asked and now at this point of time Vishave Samupasthitam sitting there right there sitting right there in front of uh, the army on the chariot ready to fight everyone is ready to fight you are in this kind of a odd place where you find yourself and you say that um, I don't want to fight so therefore that Vishame is uh, in that kind of a circumstance uh, what would be a good word here he says Vishame Sankate Shatrubhi Shastre Hantum Pravratta Samaye Pravratta Samaye at that point of time so Vishama is that odd time uh, let me see what is a good uh, word in the dictionary word <coughs> it says odd itself difficult or uh, that kind of a so you can say in this kind of a uh, what does the Tika say here Anandgiri Maharaj what does he say yeah he says sabhayasthane <laughs> sabhayasthane saupasthitam sabhayasthane where you know in a very fearful moment where you don't know uh, what is going to ha happen next in this war in that kind of a moment so in an odd moment you, you should know if you had to bring out this kind of an emotion you should have done that this much before the war and nobody from Pandava side wanted the war but after they saw that there is absolutely no solution to this and war is the final solution which is the only way out that time even Kunti had said that okay go ahead and fight it out on the battlefield at that point of time now you are so uh, Samupasthitam will go with Vishame this word Samupasthitam will go with Vishame Vishame Samupasthitam at that point of time what has happened there now here you, have, you find yourself with Kashmalam so what is Kashmalam? It is Malam, it is Malam, it is, uh, it is uh, impurity, it is impurity, dirt, it is impurity. What kind of impurity? Idam, what this impurity, how did it come about? Kutaha, Kutahetoho, due to what reason has this come about? I am, I fail to see. He is saying, this kind of is very unbecoming of you, so therefore he says, Anarya Jushtam. Anari Jushtam means it is a Tritya Tatpursha. Jushtam, you see Tanta, Tanta Shabda, neuter, all these are neuter, therefore uh, Anari Jushtam, Anari Anari Arya means noble, Anari is what? Ignoble. So Anari this impurity, Anari Yehi, Anari Jushtam, Jushtam means it is resorted to that Kashmalam, this impurity or this unbecoming, uh, rather this impure behavior, this unbecoming, unbecoming behavior uh, which is present now in this odd situation, this kind of behavior is entertained or resorted to by Anarya, by ignoble people. So resorted to by, resorted to by ignoble people and you are, you are a noble person by ignoble people, this kind of thing is entertained by you now. What is this Kashmalam? He is saying. And not only this, uh, what is it? Uh, here it is Akirti Karam. It will bring you, uh, it will bring you, bring you down. It will bring you, defame, defame you. It will defame you. Whatever fame you have earned by fighting with Indra, you have earned so many uh, uh, Shastras, you have won over so many kingdoms and that kind of Kirti you have but that Kirti will just go away because you are that kind of Kshatriya who has run away from the battle where you are, uh, you, are a, uh, you are a pillar and you are running away so it, here it is Akirti Karam it will bring you uh, ill fame and what about hereafter Aswargyam it will not give you Swarga a Kshatriya who dies in the battle or who wins over the war, he, he fails to win, he loses and dies as well as a Kshatriya who wins over, both get Swarga, <coughs> both get Swarga but you, if you run away from the battlefield, you will not get Swarga. So here Akirti Karam and hereafter Aswargyam. So here Arjuna, 
स्वा कश्मलमिदम विषमे समुपस्थितम अनार्य जुष्टम अस्वर्गम अकीर्तिकरम एंड व्हाट इज दैट देयरफॉर ही सेइंग व्हाट लेट्स मेक अ मेक एन अन्वय विथ बोथ हे अर्जुन हे अर्जुन कुतः स्वा इदम कश्मलम कश्मलम and what kind of kashmalam is this so all that will go as an adjective here idam uh, idam kutastva idam visham vishame saupasthitam um, you can say vishame saupasthitam kashmalam idam kashmalam kutastva vishame saupasthitam अनार्य जुष्टम अस्वर्गम अस्वर्गम सिंस इट इज हियर आफ्टर वी कैन पुट लेटर आल्सो अकीर्तिकरम अकीर्तिकरम अस्वर्गम इदम कश्मलम कुतस्त्व कुत कुतह भवति सो त्व विषमे सो कुतह भवति वी कैन से कुतह त्व और वी कैन से कुतह भवति इन द एंड and then further what klaibyam masma gamah partha naye tattvai upapadyate shudram hrudaya daurvayam tyaktva uttishta parantapa then he says klaibyam masma masma gama masma gama here sma is an avyaya gamah is actually agamah it is agamah it is lung lakara lung lakara gam dhatu gam dhatu lung lakara and मध्य पुरुष एक वचन सो द फॉर्म विल बी व्हाट इट विल बी अगम अगम देर इज एन अडागम हियर एंड दिस अडागम गोज वेन यू हैव एसोसिएशन विथ मा एंड सी लुंगलकारा इन व्हाट मीनिंग इज लुंगलकारा यूज व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ लुंगलकारा एनी वन When is lunglakara used? Past tense, bhute, right? Bhute, general past tense. So bhute lunglakara is used. But when an association is ma, there is a sutra which says mangi lung. Whenever there is an association with ma, mang, mang means uh, nakara is it letter there. Halante mit tasselopa. So ma, ma is the content of mang. ma means don't mang mang is used to say don't do not and whenever there is an association with mang to say do not then lunglakara is ordained in what meaning not in bhute ka arthe just to in association with mang it is ordained no other lakara i mean there may be lot also is used sometimes but uh, it is in the sense of do not uh, do whatever is the kriya indicated by the dhatu For that dhatu, lung lakara is ordained. So gam uh, dhatu says gati. So uh, ma gama, ma gama, do not, do not approach or do not take to this. Take to the, do not take to uh, what klaibyam. So all that he is going to say. What we'll see, shudram ityadi. But ma ma gama ha is what ma agama ha, and that ada gama. Adagama drops off when associated with mang. So na mang yoga. In mang yoga, uh, when there is association with ma, that time uh, these uh, lakaras where there are three lakaras where you have adagama, and uh, out of that one lakara, this lung lakara is used for uh, in association with ma mang. And that time adagama does not come. Therefore, the form is gama. so ma gama is ma agama really agama and that agama akara has uh, will have lost its uh, it, it would have lost its adagama lost as in it would not come at all rather it would not come so na mang yoge mangi lung and na mang yoge na mang yoge what mang yoge adagama na bhavati that's what it means so here uh, gama is lung lakara to say uh, do not approach that kind of, do not gama do not go there where whatever you are wherever you find yours do not go there that's what it means as in emotionally 
So Klaibium Magamaha. Do not and Klaibium is what? Klaibium Magamaha Hepartha. So we will we'll just mark the cases here. Um, some both are better mouth in English. <coughs> no. Etat. Twee. Saptami question. Twee. In you. Upapadjate. Shudram. Rude. Shudram. Rude or Gallium Tiaktua having given up what having given up what therefore Shudram and Hurda or Gallium Uttishta get up Parantapa Parantapa is also Sambodana okay so Clibium Masmo Clibium Ma Okay, sma, sma also is uh, it's uh, pada purane or it can have a meaning also, but sma can be seen as pada purane also. Sma just means uh, it's a filler, uh, uh, a particle which is a filler in uh, shloka that is used. Here we'll see if there is a particular meaning. Uh, indeed, it can be taken as indeed also. Indeed, do not go there. In indeed, do not go there. So klaibium, klaibium maga means do not. Uh, klaibium is what. Klebasya uh, bhavaha. Klebium is basically napun sakattum. Uh, so, uh, so Klebium is actually very insulting. For a Kshatriya, that to such a famous Kshatriya who has fought with Indra, he is saying what kind of, uh, not unmanly, what kind of a uh, behavior like a eunuch. So, this is the kind of insult uh, he tries to, uh, you know, uh, shock Arjuna into battle. He says that what is this, you know. Uh, it is like this is very unbecoming behavior of a Kshatriya, of a human being also. This this is not right. So he says, therefore he talks very insultingly to Arjuna to shake him uh, out of, uh, of this emotion, of these emotions which are very unbecoming of uh, a Kshatriya, especially on the battlefield. Vishame uh, Samupasthitam. Therefore he says this uh, this napun sakattam you have to give up. So, uh, what is this idam kashmalam and this klaibhyam masma smagama do not uh, take to this kind of a napun saka behavior, he partha and by saying partha, see he is insulting him and calling him partha also. Partha is, is a taddhita, uh, Kunti's other name was Pratha, actually her name was Pratha, Pratha, uh, Pratha. So, Prathayaha Apatyam. Prathayaha Apatyam. Apatyam Kuman. This is a Taddhita Vritti and Sambodhana is Partha. And who is Prutha? Prutha is uh, Krishna's aunt, maternal aunt. So, he is calling him Klaibya. He is saying, uh, give up this Klaibyam. Do not take to this Klaibyam and he is saying you are my own, you know, you are my uh, maternal cousin and then he says Prathaya Apatyam, He Partha Klaibyam Masma Gamaha, why? Tvai etat nau papadjyate, this is not, ten, this is not right, Tvai etat nau, etat Klaibyam Tvai nau papadjyate, it may, it may seem right to others but for you, uh, in you this kind of quality is, is not right. So, now Upapati is not tenable, it, is, it, it should not be. This kind of behavior should not be there in you. And what is that? It is Shudram. So, Shudram can be first case also. It can go with Klaibhyam. Uh, second case and Masma, it can go there. But all these are in Samana Dikranam. Klaibhyam, Shudram, Hrudaya Daurvalyam, Masma Gama and give it up. So, uh, it can go in that way also. But uh, we will take Klaibhyam here with Masma and then Shudram and Hrudaya Daurvalyam. Uh, with uh, as as karma to tyaktva having given up having given uttishta uttishta means uh, get up get up and fight so it's a it's it can be seen as an order or a request but here you can see it as an order lot lakara madhya purusha ekvachana get up get up this is not the time to sit down and we have seen earlier in the first chapter it was said in the end what happened upavishat he just sat down 
sasharam chapam visrujya sankhe rapto where in the battlefield in the battle on the chariot he just upavishat and uh, one commentator explains upavishat means he didn't sit down you know just uh, the way his body was bending it was uh, as if he is completely shattered and that way he sat down therefore uh, it can be seen as an order that uh, Krishna tells him get up right now you get up this is very unbecoming of you so klaibhyam masmagamaha he partha klaibhyam mas so he says further he uh, he partha klaibhyam masmagama indeed do not take to this behavior magamaha and why hetu is given need not be given but he is saying tvai etat this na upapadyate na upapadyate it is not it should not be there in you uh, upapadyate is actually this is uh, it is latlakara na upapadyate is not tenable is not right that's what he is saying upapadyate means it is right but no upabhatya, it is not right. This behavior is not right in you. This this behavior in you is not right. And But then what is it? What is that behavior? Shudram. So, uh, I think Shudram would be neuter. So, it can go in. Etat Shudram Tvaina Upapadhyate also many ways are possible. Uh, I will just keep it simple the way it is there, closer to Chaktva. So, this Etat Klaibhyam. So, we can take with Etat this as pronoun. What is that? That is Klaibhyam, he has already said, so sorry, not Klaibhyam, it is Klaibhyam. So Klaibhyam, Klaibhyam, sorry again this uh, Klaibhyam, so I have it. Klaibhyam, Masmagama and Etat, since it is a pronoun, whatever is the noun earlier, this Klaibhyam. Etat Klaibhyam, Tvai Na Upapadhyate. So what should you do? He Parantapa, He Parantapa. Uttishta, he is saying, basic sentence is Uttishta. Kim Krutva, doing what? Uttishta, Tyaktva Uttishta. So, he parantha, Tyaktva, having given up. Get up, having given up. Having given up what? Therefore, Karma, Shudram, Hrudaya, Daurvalyam. We have not explained these words. So, Kshudram, Kshudram is not Shudram, okay? It is Kshudram. Shudra would be a Varna. Shudram is lowly, it is very lowly behavior, so insignificant. Shudram is the, uh, uh, these, uh, you know, fireflies and these very small insects which you barely see, you know, they are seen in masses, mosquitoes and the, uh, they are seen in huge numbers, but they are insignificant. All put together their life is insignificant for the masses, they don't want it. So, Shudram is very lowly and lowly behavior, insignificant uh, you know, very lowly behavior. So, this can be like a an adverbial sense, lowly, very lowly behavior. It's a behavior. So, uh, it is qualifying the behavior as lowly behavior. And Hrudaya Dorvalyam. Hrudaya Dorvalyam. Hrudaya, uh, so, of Dorvalyam of Hrudaya. So, Shashti Tatpurusha. Dorvalya is Durvalasya Bhavaha. Durvala means uh, it has uh, uh, weakness. So, this weakness of the heart, you know, your mind or the heart should be strong, your mind should be strong. So, Hridaya can be seen as mind there. So, weakness of the mind, giving up, get up, giving up this lowly weakness of the mind. So, Kshudram is qualifying Hridaya Daurvalyam. What kind of uh, weakness of the mind? It is lowly. It is very lowly, very unbecoming, uh, especially for a Kshatriya. So, having given up Hridaya Daurvalyam, Uttishta, get up and the get up means what be ready to fight further what is the response of arjuna arjuna ha uvacha katham bhishma maham sankhe dronancha madu sudana ishu vipratiyot yotsyami pujar havari sudana uh, further okay we'll finish this verse and go ahead so arjuna uvacha what did he say he said after this he said He said, Katham, Katham, how, Katham, Bhishmam, so Bhishma you see in second case, Bhishmam, Aham, uh, 
in first case aham sankhe saptami ek vachana dronam again bhishma and drona bhishma and dronancha aham sankhe katham madhusudana uh, madhusudana sorry uh, he madhusudana he madhusudana sambodana he madhusudana ishubihi ishubihi is with arrows plural ishubihi pratiyotsyami so pratiyotsyami you see mip here uh, it is uttama purusha ek vachana latlakara pratiyotsyami yotsyami means uh, how will i do yuddha actually i have forgot to uh, mention this parantapa parantapa uh, parantapa is an upapada tatpurusha it is paran tapayati tapati tapayati causes heat does not heat paran tapayati others see look at this uh, very nice usage by uh, krishna he says he parantapa meaning what right now this hriday daurbalyam is unbecoming of you because you are someone who scorches others you burn others you burn others as in you trouble the others in battle you make them feel the heat you are not who should be feeling the heat whether it is mental or physical it should be felt by the enemy paran as in shatrun paran equal to shatrun shatrun tapayati shatrun now what is this nakara here paran si paran tapayati if it is a samasa you should get paratapa what is this nakara parantapa where is this nakara coming from that is actually a mumagama uh, this pratyaya is there is a pratyaya khash khach pratyaya khach and a khit pratyaya brings a mumagama so there is para para plus tap actually there is more to it maybe tapi so ta, uh, tapayati would be tapi it is causative tap plus nich may be possible uh, so tap plus nich plus khach but then uh, when khach is there there was uh, uh, there is khitwa there is hraswa uh, also so i'll say nijant dhatu nich plus but then uh, tapi will become tap hraswa there is a hraswa desha uh, upada hraswa happens but this khach pratya brings in uh, an upapada tatpurusha and what happens there is a mumagama mumagama the content of mumaga is makara and makara becomes anuswara here monuswara and then it becomes uh, takara since anuswara uh, will become takara is following therefore it anuswara becomes nakara or varga panchama of ta varga so ta varga's varga panchama is nakara therefore param this mumagama makara has first it is param mum param tapah then this makara becomes anuswara and then this anuswara becomes nakara therefore you get parantapa mind you this is not parantapas nakara it is not nakara of that uh, second case uh, like raman paran it is not nakara of that it is a mumagama uh, so anyway um, just want i think in dhananjaya also it is similar dhanam jayati iti dhananjaya that uh, dhanam dhanam makara that is not makara of dhanam otherwise it would be an aluk samasa it is not an aluk samasa aluk samosa samasa has gone earlier which is i forgot to mention yudhishthira i will see it another time uh, i'll not mention now but yudhishthira is a uh, is an aluk samasa i'll just finish this uh, so katham bhishvam aham sankhe dronam cha madhusudana ishu bhi pratiyotsyami pujhar ho pujhar ho uh, these are this is dual ari sudana again ari sudana is uh, ari sudana and madhu sudana ari is also rakshasa or it can be seen ari as kama also and madhu uh, there are various ways to make again but madhu sudana is an upapada tatpurusha ari sudana is also uh, upapada tatpurusha uh, not uh, uh, yeah and the one who has killed madhu nam rakshasa and one who has killed ari nam rakshasa so that krishna is his he is addressing that way to tell what to say that bhishma you are asking me to kill bhishma not win over this is a battle and to death and battle and to death means i have to kill my own pitamaha you are asking me to kill bhishma and you are asking me to kill my uh, 
Acharya, Dronacharya, who has given me Brahmastra, in fact Brahmastra Vidya he has given to his son as well as uh, me, but he says that, um, uh, that how to use it, the art of using that Brahmastra he has given only to me, not even to his son. So I am more dear to Dronacharya than his own son, the way he has treated me. He has given me a blessing that there will be no other warrior better than you ever. And that kind of a warrior I was, uh, I mean I am, and that kind of a relation I share with Dronacharya, you are asking me to kill them. So Bhishma and Drona both are not like Madhu Rakshasa or Ari Rakshasa, and thereby he addresses Madhu Sudhana and Ari Sudhana, meaning you, should, you ought to know better. How can I kill them? That's why he brings in those names, Madhu Sudhana and Ari Sudhana. I cannot kill them, they are not Rakshasa. Rakshasa, therefore Bhishma, Aham, 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 Aham Bhishma Bhishma Dronancha Cha Katham Katham what? Katham Ishubihi Ishubihi Prati Yotsyami So Prati Yotsyami is that Prati Tan Prati Tan Prati or uh, Tau Prati They are uh, There are two So uh, Satavte. So Bhishma Dronam Prati, Bhishma Dronancha Prati, Prati Yotsami. How can I, Yotsami means fight, fight towards, how can I send with, with Ishubi Saha, with arrows, using uh, arrows as instruments, how can I fight, uh, fight them with arrows, that's what it means. How can I fight Bhishma and Drona with arrows in this battlefield, Sankhe, Aham Sankhe, Aham Sankhe Bhishmam Dronam Cha Katham Ishubihi Pratiyotsami He Madhusudana. So He Madhusudana Sudana Aham Sankhe Bhishmam Dronam or Sankhe Aham. Either way Aham Sankhe Bhishmam Dronam Cha Katham Ishubihi Saha Ishubihi Pratiyotsami with arrows. How shall I fight with them with arrows or how shall I kill them with arrows? That's what it finally means. Why? What is the reason? Here, here Ari Sudhana, here Ari Sudhana, because they are what? Uh, they are Tau, uh, sorry, not Tau, uh, Sate Taha, so Te, Sate Te Pujaru, 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 they are, they are Pujaru Bhavataha, they are here Ari Sudhana, why the reason is they are, they are not to be uh, struck with arrows. They should be, uh, they should be struck with flowers as in I should be worshipping them. They are worship worthy, the grandfather Bhishma and uh, the Acharya, Dronacharya are worship worthy and you are asking me to kill them. That's what he is saying. We will see further in the next, next class. Any Prati Yotsyami Pujaro. So Pujaro is... Uh, yeah, so Pujaru Ari Sudhana. Okay. Uh, shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Any questions? Okay, no questions. Uh, yes, Anu. Uh, actually, in the last you said uh, te puja ha bhavata ha. Because it's two, isn't it then tau? Sorry? Uh, sa tau. Uh, just a second. Um, I got a little confused. Wait. Sa tau te. Yeah, sa tau te. What did I say? Uh, sa. I said sa te. Ah, yeah, sa tau te. So tau is right, yeah. Sa tau te. It is tatte um, tani sa tau te. Yeah, yeah. So, te in plural, uh, tau in, uh, so tau is right, yeah, tau. Tau pujharu bhavataha, yeah. Sa te taha, uh, then uh, saha uh, tau te, right. So, tau pujharu, I just uh, wanted to say, tau to say these, uh, dronancha uh, bhishma, tau is not needed, but then it's better to say because bhishmam dronam, you can uh, indicate with a pronoun that they are the ones. Deto Pujaro Bhavataha.
Right. Anything else? Yeah, uh, I wanted to know uh, Uttishta in Sorry? is it in some other lakara uh, because you have marked it as a verb, so I was little. Which one? Uttishta. Yeah, Uttishta is uh, Uttishta is a lakara. It's a uh, lot lakara. Lot. Okay. Yeah. Generally, where you don't see any uh, uh, any pratya there. Mm. It is uh, like an like an order, so Uttishta. Kuru, so those kind of uh, words you see. Anything else? No. Anyone else? Uh, otherwise, un did you have that question earlier uh, of? Uh,